Hi there, this video is designed to show how the, to operate and use the Brigham Project's gaff lock headboard car locking mechanism. Um, shown in the video is the, uh, just showing right now, is the activator pull mechanism. Um, as you can see, it's pretty windy out here, so we haven't got a main cell attached at the moment. But uh, we're just going to give you a little run through of how, how you lock and unlock the car. So first, as in a standard normal hoist with one of these, you over hoist slightly this only needs to be about 20 mil but in this example we go a bit further car goes over the over hoist at this point there's a trip line inside the internally in the rig at the bottom and you simply pull which pulls a little lever out which just came out now and then the halyard man can then ease the halyard down gently onto the onto the lock this basically pushes the rod in which activates the pull and locks the car on the track so now we're completely locked on the track um, and you're free to disengage the trip line at this point. Then in order to come off lock, it's just a simple case of uh, over hoisting the halyard up as it goes. There we go. And then the pull retracts itself and you just simply drop as normal. Just to give you another quick run through, uh, we're just going to show it all happening again. So there goes the car up through, trip lines engaged. At this point, halyards ease down slowly. Now you can let the trip line off. And to come off, you just simply over hoist again, pull disappears and lower the car. With the activator mechanism, it was really important that we had some built-in safety measures with it. Um, primarily this little flipper flips in and out and in order to safeguard it against a couple of things, we needed to make sure that if the lock was not to lock properly for some reason that the flipper would move out of the way essentially as well if um, cell geometry meant that we were lining up with let's say we we're on first reef and the second reef pattern pattern cars were over this piece that uh, it basically was able to move out of the way if required so what we've done actually is um, effectively the uh, flipper is uh, is basically spring loaded safety mechanism inside which um, cleverly allows it to effectively move out of the way as required if you overload it by a certain amount so here we're going to show the car going past and basically if uh, someone was to drop the halyard too too quickly on it or the flipper of that what happens to it so essentially now the flipper's out and the man on the halyard is going to drop quickly and it essentially just flicks the flipper straight out of the way when there's excessive force so now the flipper's in a in a past spring position and in order it's really simple process to reset all we've got to do is simply just over hoist the car again there it goes past and it effectively brings a flipper back into position to be able to lock again at this point you're back to normal working so the man can release the, release the trip line like so and we'll just push it in and out a couple of times just so you can see that it's all back to normal there we go and now we're basically we're re completely reset so we can just go for a standard lock as we do normally and there we go on lock and back to normal so now we can just release the trip line and come back off lock